The author of this bill, State Rep Daniel Pay, says more and more evidence has come to light showing that microdosing mushrooms in a physician's office can help treat things like depression, PTSD, and anxiety. Because of that, he wants to allow researchers here in Oklahoma to more in-depth study these treatments. We have to take care of our people. Oklahoma has a population that's different from our friends in Texas. We have a tremendous number of military installations, hence more veterans. I myself represent a community uh, that has veterans and military personnel, and I believe strongly that this bill is going to help them. State Rep Daniel Pay from Lawton arguing for his legislation that looks to legalize the study of mushroom usage in mental health treatments. He says Oklahoma needs to allow for a study within the state to ensure best practice if the drug is deemed effective. Could it be that some of these individuals taking medicines that we know have side effects that, that are used for depression, could it be that some of these people come off of those medications with this kind of therapy? Absolutely, and we won't know until we conduct the research, until we conduct this pilot program. A majority of House lawmakers supported the bill, but more than 30 Republicans were concerned about the reliance on a drug that could be harmful for some. Will they have a bottle of it at home that a child could get a hold of, like other meds, or how will this be? For clarification, are you asking if we're going to be prescribing psilocybin to take home with the patients? No, everything will occur within the clinical setting. And to reiterate, as you just heard from the author of this bill, this would only allow for the usage of mushrooms in a research setting. It would not allow for widespread prescription across the state. But this bill, HB 2107, as you just heard, had some Republican concerns, but it still passed pretty easily, 66 to 32.